Howdy y'all. Um, this video isn't as theatric as some of my other ones are because today's art thing was very spontaneous. Um, I got a surprise in the mail today from this girl I follow on TikTok. She's also an artist. Her her name is, I, I know she goes by Ann. I don't, I don't want to say somebody's name if they don't want it out there. But anyway, she has an Etsy store and it's ask and receive and I just think that is the most clever business name I've ever seen so kudos um but yeah today's video is just spontaneous because I wasn't expecting a surprise when I came home today and it's you know you get older yeah I, I don't really like my birthdays and I don't know <laughs> but I've been without my meds for a couple days so I haven't really been feeling my best and that, that just made my day to come home to that and I wanted to just say that in this quick little video of this quick little little dude that I, that I painted up and I'm gonna mail off to her as a thank you so yeah anyway enjoy this video bye okay my thought process and the creation of this little mushroom dude that I made um I'm in a lot of different groups on Facebook and one of them is like goblin core and then there's cottage core and then I even think there is a mushroom mushroom core so I've been seeing a lot of mushrooms lately and mushrooms are just cute to me so I wanted to do my own little cherub of a mushroom all excited about a dye he found <laughs> like my my brain is telling me that the story of this little dude is that he uh, was given a present from this aunt and you know there's nothing cube that they would have being little creatures of the ground of the earth <laughs> so he found this dye and brought him a little dye and he's just excited to have his dice and the aunt's like woo and the little cherry mushrooms like woo so <laughs> that's the story of this illustration i have going on it's nothing profound or anything it was just something fun and loose to get out that it, it was just me illustrating the joy i felt in the moment i feel like and I, i'm happy with how it turns out and i i hope i hope she likes it <laughs> So to add to the spontaneity of this thing, um, I have just like cheap Crayola watercolors just at the ready for like sketches and doodles and things. But I also have them at the ready because it kind of helps you to limit your palette. And if you're wanting to create something that's quick and f free, to me it helps to have a limited palette because then you're forced to actually kind of think if you want to mix colors um it's odd how my brain works sometimes but yeah i wanted to have a limit illustration palette and really just do this fella just from my own thought and like memory of these cute little dudes that i've seen floating around on the internet so that's the reason for the paint palette I did choose.
if I were to change anything that I made with this guy, it would be to do his outline in pencil. I think black just took away from the cute rustic I had going on before I decided to ink them. But that's just me. I think it would have looked better as outlined in pencil. There's just certain looks you can't achieve with outlining in pen. So that's my main criticism on this quickie I did today. Other than that, I love him. And he's adorable. And I just want to pinch his cheeks and his poke his belly. Yeah. After doing this guy, I think I'm definitely going to revisit this style I got going on and try out the pencil outline because I do really like him. I just think he's so cute and I hope Anne likes him. Please visit her uh, links that I'm going to put down below. She has TikTok and I know she has an Etsy store. So I'm going to put those down below. So please check them out. Please subscribe to me. Um, if you check out my previous video, you'll see some information on how to win some free art from me. Um, other than that, I think I'm done talking. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you had a great day and have a great day and all those good vibes. So, yeah. Thanks again. Bye.